Hi guys, Kevlar here. Welcome back to Stranded Deep. So this is another top tips video. So in the last video I did for top tips, it was very much a random selection of different tips and tricks. Whereas this one I thought I'd focus it just on building topics as I didn't cover any building in the last video. So I've got seven tips here, starting off with basic building, going up to some more of the complex topics. So we'll start off with very basic building tips, basically how to build a, a hut. So yeah, tip number one is hut building. So in your building menu, you've got the different, um, I guess, categories. You always have to start building with a foundation. So if you picked a floor, tried to build a floor, it won't go. You always have to have the bottom layer being a foundation. So starting off with a foundation, see, select the point that you want. So if you're starting too low and you're going uphill, you should probably try to start off at the highest point because they can go quite high. I always like to build them floor level, but you could have your building starting off of a high first floor and build steps to get to it. Let's just start off building a low one. So again, once you've got a foundation, even if you try to put a floor attaching to the foundation, that won't work. It has to all be foundation. So we're going to build a quick 2x2. Two two. Then for your walls, you have a choice of walls, half walls, walls of windows or a door. Let's just build windows. Windows are a bit cheaper than full walls. They just hook on to the side of the foundation. Okay, I'm not going to fully build all of these, just as an example, so build them like that. Then putting a roof on the top, again simple, select your roof, you can either do your sloping roofs or the roof caps, so let's just stick a cap on top of there, put another cap on that one. So yeah, simple as that, that's how to build a, a simple hut structure. Okay, so you could do, I guess, the second floor in your hut. Okay, so we'll place some stairs. Okay, your flooring for the second floor can only go above where there's a floor or a foundation below it. So you see, I can't build off of the wall there. I can't build off of these stairs, but I can build there because there's a floor below it or a foundation below it. So if we want to build across this way, we need another foundation there. So again, I'm not going to fully build that because we don't really need to. It just needs to be placed. Now we have that there, it will allow us to build a, a floor. Now that you have your first floor, you can actually keep building floors out. And you can keep going and you don't need to have anything underneath it. It's only the first floor that you place needs to have a foundation or a floor below it. So this is how you end up making like these floating bases and floating pathways that you see over there. Okay, so that's some basic building. Tip number two is if you want a, I guess a, a building that's two walls high and then you want to cap it with a roof here. As you can see, it's not letting me clip a roof on here because the roofs need to be basically above a floor again or a, um, a foundation. So if you place a, a flooring there, again, don't need to fully build it. It now recognises we've got a floor underneath and it will let us place the roof there. So and to get up to build the roof, it's a bit of a pain. You can jump, but then I tend to build, my, build some stairs to get up there, actually build this floor properly, get up there, build my roof and then demolish the layer that I don't want below it. Okay, tip number three. Let's say, for example, you wanted to build a, a hallway like this with some steps with a roof going over the steps as well. It's not quite so simple. It won't let you build a roof right above steps. So here's how you do it. Okay, so here we are. We've got the gap there, the steps below. Try to create the roof and it won't let us place it. So what we have to do is get rid of the steps first. Okay, then create a floor. Okay, now we should be able to place a roof above the floor. There we go. And take away the floor. 
and rebuild the stairs. Okay, now we have our roof in place. Just a quick note, when I was rebuilding the floor, it initially wouldn't let me place it because I had a hook. I had one of these hooks on the wall here, which had my lantern on it. Obviously it didn't like me building a floor when there was a hook in the way. So whenever you can't build something when you think you should be able to, always check if there's something built there, or like a little hook, or maybe just a a stick lying around that you need to move out of the way. So the building's a bit funny like that, it doesn't like building on top of something that's, that's already there. Okay, tip number four, we're looking at jetties or platforms for your boat. So I'm not actually going to um, build this one, it's fairly straightforward but I'll just show you roughly what to do. So again, these are all wood foundations. So use your wood foundations. So place them under the water, have them sort of resting on the top of the water. Now they can only go out so far. When you get really deep, swim over here. See they only just reach. So it's always best to find a an area which is fairly shallow for quite a long way out to see if that makes sense so you can build your jetty going as far out as you can. Now one tip here is when, when you're building, actually if there's fish swimming around, sometimes it, it will appear that you can't build because it won't let you build over where there's a fish. So just keep trying, just check if there's anything under the sea um, while you're trying to build your foundations. Now the thing about foundations is when you're swimming, when you're in the sea, you can easily jump up onto foundations. If it's a wood floor, you can't jump on onto them, so a foundation is key. However, if you want to build out further into sea, you can, however, it will be a wood floor. So you can see over here, there's an example there. So this wood floor is harder to jump up onto. Sometimes you can jump up if you've got the right, I guess, height of the water. But yeah, you'll see there, I'm trying to jump and it won't let me. However, if you park your boat up next to it, obviously you can jump onto it easy then. So to build this, you can actually build the foundations underwater. So there's a wood foundation, so you can go down deep, try and place your foundation. Okay, if we find the spot, so you can see there's lots of plants here, it's not letting me place. There you go, so there's a bit there I can place. So you can place the foundations under the water. And what you can do, as you can see here, I've built multiple foundations, a bit like what we've already learned on how to build basic bases. Then you can build stairs off of the foundations, up, and then you can simply build your floors off of the stairs. Again, making sure that you've got a foundation underneath your first floor so you can get a start there. And the stairs are quite useful because if you are in the water you can use the stairs to get up onto the floor. So there you, I could keep building this out with flooring to make my jetty even longer. Tip number five, floating bases. I guess similar to what you can see over there, it appears to be floating but it is connected obviously by stairs. If you want to actually make a base floating so it's actually not connected by anything, you can build your base with the stairs to make your floor. Completely get rid of your stairs by knocking them down. Knock down the walls next to it. Basically, after knocking everything down, as you can see over here, and I've done that before, I'm actually just left with a floor still floating. So obviously, I've only got one there, but if I kept my stairs there, I could get up there. I could keep building out. I could build a huge base up there if I wanted floating and then get rid of the stairs afterwards and that will stay. It won't knock the, uh, the floating floor down. Okay, tip number six is building a base around the rocks, building up to the rocks. So as you can see here, again, I'm not going to build it all, just going to show you. I've got a huge staircase. So again, what we've learned about building the stairs, so I've built some wood foundations, built an initial staircase going up to there, I was able to build another staircase because I had foundations underneath. 
And as you go up, I had to build some flooring off of this staircase to allow me to build the next one. Again, the next one, then built some flooring off of that to build the next staircase and so on. So I've always got flooring underneath the staircases so I could build them. And I kept going up and up and up until I reached the top. So obviously a bit of trial and error knowing where to start so you get the right height to reach the top at the right time. And then once you're up here, you can build your flooring around the rocks. So it works quite well. It doesn't have to be perfect, it will sink into the rocks. As you can see here, I've started building a uh, circular area around these rocks here. And again, as we've got flooring, we can just continue building outwards as much as we want off of this flooring here. So I plan to sort of start building up a bit, build some more stairs, go over this rock here, and then build a nice base on top of the rock. Okay, tip number seven. You can actually build ramps instead of stairs if you wish. So as you see here, I don't know if you remember from a previous video, I had a ramp here with my um, tires on it. So I've just knocked that down to rebuild to show you how I do it. So currently, if I try to build a roof as a ramp up here, it won't let me. And that's because I've got rid of the foundation that I had there. So we need to make sure we've got a foundation built. You can see I've got a foundation there. Okay, so now we've got a foundation there. It will recognise that we've got a, a base underneath this and it will let us put a, a roof there. And once we've got the first roof in with the foundation, so if we wanted we can get rid of the foundation. It's always good to get your sticks back if you're not going to use it. And that will now allow us to do another roof. So you can always use that methodology, similar to the steps, to build your ramp up to the top of the rock. The only thing with ramps is when you're walking up them, you get caught in that middle bit. You have to jump over it. So each each time you get to another roof when you're going up, you have to jump. Okay, I think that's it for um, building tips. With everything we've learned there today, you should be able to build anything you want or anything you can within the possibilities of the game. So obviously everything I've built over there, I used, I guess, all of those skills to make sure that I can build my double stories with the roofs going up, to build all the steps that go up my lighthouse. I had to build loads of steps using that method of making sure I've got flooring underneath each one. And yeah, hopefully you've learned something there. I'll leave it at that. I'll keep this as mainly just a building video and um, my next video. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and then you'll get the notifications for the future videos. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.